polynomials in roller coaster design. So how does a thrilling roller coaster experience come to be? It all begins with advanced planning. A roller coaster designers use math, specifically polynomials, to create an experience that meets their requirements. Roller coaster designers are entrusted with the task of designing the next big attraction for a nearby theme park. They might have some limits to their coasters, such as a specified starting height, a limit to the highest point of the ride, and even the speed at which the coaster can go at. Let's say that the designer is given these following restrictions. It should have a starting height of 200 feet and must dive below ground level at 3 seconds into the ride and return to ground level at 5 seconds. Then it must have another dive between the ground 10 seconds later. To figure out the look and feel of the roller coaster, we have to graph a polynomial with the given restrictions. Since we know that the starting height of the coaster must be 200 feet, we also know that the y-intercept of the function will be 200. Now we have to take into account another variable, t. t will represent the time in seconds passed since the start of the ride. Since we know that the coaster starts at 200 feet, f of 0 will equal to 200. We know that the coaster must pass ground level at 3 seconds, 5 seconds, and 10 seconds. These correspond to the points 3, 0, 5, 0, and 10, 0. These are the x-intercepts of the function. Now to find the function that satisfies all these needs, let's put them in the format of a polynomial. The height as a function of time can be written as follows. To find a, we can first expand the polynomial. Then we can substitute in t equals 0, f of 0 equals 200, and solve for a. a equals negative 4 thirds. So now this is our completed polynomial function. Here is a graph of the polynomial. Graphing this function gives us an idea as to what the roller coaster will look like. Of course, this is oversimplified, and a roller coaster designer would not just take this model and start building a roller coaster, since there are still many other factors to account for, such as safety and speed. But this would be the starting point for a roller coaster design. Thank you for listening.